Hey, Andrew, we're trying to get these done, recorded for you. I'm running out of battery and I can't seem to find the cord, so I'm going to give you one that I want you to play with all the time. Um, even with delayed sword, when people are grabbing you here and you find a way to bend them in and get to this point, I want you to be able to pull their hand off and do Japanese hand. And using this as your chair, you can push their hand away from you and get them to fall in a manner where they go away from your chair. I want you to use that on everything. If it was a left punch and we were doing uh, check the arm, what's the left punch one? Uh, Sort of disturbs you, excuse me, I'm kind of going through my head. Um, and the punch comes, and your your punch bends them over here. Oh, man, you get to this point, take that hand and rotate their wrist in a direction. Manipulate the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder, and get rid of them. Okay, it will work. You can manipulate those three joints. Um, alternating base when they go to push, same thing. I would bend them into your chair or into you so when you back knuckle, you can get them away. If you drive your hand into their face, they're going to reach up to stop you, and then you have Japanese hand, and you can get rid of them. Again, I want to show you how that was applied. As soon as his hands come up, I grabbed it. I used his wrist and his elbow to send him away. This is what you're going to use a lot of. Doesn't matter what hand they're grabbing or poking with. If you can get to the point where you can grab a wrist or a finger, manipulate their hand, their wrist, and their elbow, you can get them down to where you can deal with them. And I hope this got on there. I'm going to stop real quick, put it on YouTube for you, and see if you can get it. And then I'll try to find my cord and we'll get you another. Okay? Oh.